What up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel, man. Today we is down here in the fish room. Got my boy Mr. Feed the Fish, and today gonna be like a raw, uncut vlog. We just gonna go through, show you guys some of the tanks, give you an update on what's going on down here, talk about some new plans, and just kick it for a second, man. So we'll just start over here. You guys an update on the 45 gallon tall. We got our nice little metallic Oscar in here. Dude looking good. Is he? Looking great. Raider. Show that red hump. Where he at? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, the male. Look at the hump on him. Just bright red. Yeah, he looks What's this here? Chocolate? Yeah, that's the chocolate sickly right there. Nice little chocolate. Got the geos back here, the heck of lies. Look at them streamers on, dude. Boys yeah, I might have to move them out of there to really get them breeding, though. I mean, you might. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if they'll breed with all this going on. I don't think the tank big enough for them all to breed up in here. How big they gonna get? The heck of lies? Yeah. I would say they almost full grown, but I would say it probably go another two inches, two to three inches, and get more thicker, though. Because uh, the ones that Phil got down there, them albino ones, they fat. Yeah, they fat. They, they fat. fat. They big. So I'll probably give them about a good six and a half, seven inches, full grown. Yes, then we got the filamental barbs. They gonna look good too once they get oh, big. Mentos. What we got going on down here? Oh yeah, I moved the, um, all my baby Africans down here. We got a bunch of rusty cichlids. We got some yellow tops in here and some orange top hung guys. And there's even a few little Kenyas in here too. Let me see if we focus on his little. I believe some of them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Need, I'll give you some today. Fry. I'll give you some of these today. I can tell. See, the Rusty's got the more orange on them. Yeah. And you can see the yellow tops. They got more, like this one right there. Right. More yellow on them. So, I can kind of tell them apart. Yeah, I'm going to have to move mine over to... I'm going to have to move all the ones in the 40 breeder over to the... Uh, I'm going to have to move them into the 125 and then move the, the little babies into that 40 breeder. Yeah, that's going to look good. I've power feed. Power feed. Power. That's what I do with them. I feed these guys like two or three times a day. I make sure it's food on the ground left over <laughs> all day long. <laughs> yeah, that way they can just nibble. Yeah. Yeah, but they in there looking good. Oh, yeah. And then we got to talk about this 40 breeder. Remember I had the, the blue hat in Come here. On, man. I had the zero bleak ones. Come on, So... <laughs> <laughs> so I had did a did a disappointed bro. So I had did a water change on this, and I pumped in a little bit too much of hot water. And I'm still running my heaters down here, but that day that I did do the water change, it was like probably like 80 some degrees down here in the fish room. So the water was super warm. I go upstairs for about four or five hours, and I come back, and they dead, bro. They dead. So I gotta donate some fish, bro. I gotta donate you. Uh, I can donate a pair of the fryer eyes for sure. Yeah. At least a male and a female. I know I got two females. I got three males. Yeah. So I donate a pair to you, bro. And we yeah. still got some zero bleak ones in this tank, but we just got to wait till they grow out. So we ain't lose the whole strain, but we lost our breeders. And I had them for about a year and a half. And then that big that, and beautiful. That uh, that blue hat. That blue. <laughs> <laughs> he was beautiful. Beautiful. Was he? Man, so yeah, he got like we got like three of them. I don't got you? three, yeah. Yeah, I got three. Might have to get them back going. But yeah, this tank the sixty. We got the severs. I remember I picked these guys up recently. Got the gold severs and nice little green severs. Ain't here looking. The giant Daniels though. swimming like sardines <laughs> grouped together. Yeah, they nice. You gonna have to get you some more of them. No, I'm gonna bring mine over here. I'm gonna bring mine over here. Let them chill with their cousins. Let them do something different. Hey, then we get those the same day too. Yeah. Yeah, and they're looking good. These flag festums. I want to move them out of here. That's the female right here. Where that male at? He's huge. I don't even see him. He's probably hiding right, behind. Right, yeah. Right. But I want to move them to a tank so I can try to breed them guys because they always showing a lot of breeding activity in this aquarium, but they just never. The eggs never survive. And then we still got the giant Daniel down here, too. 
Look at him. Yeah, he down there. He been down here for about four months. Chilling with African sickles. <laughs> so everybody out there talking about African sickles is mean and nasty. Well, there's a giant Daniel living with African sickles. And he be right? chasing them around. He swim harder than them. Yeah, he do, for sure. Just down here swimming. Oh, look at those electric. Uh, electric. Yeah, they like they're trying to breathe. They, they need to. Them, so. I done had them for a while and they ain't did nothing yet. Maybe they did something because that one was kind of skinny unless that's for another male. Yeah, I'm not even sure. And then we got the tangerine tigers. I got fried from them. Actually, there's some tangerine tiger fry in here, matter of fact. What's that? What's this right here? What's this uh, OB? Yeah, it's an OB. OB it's an OB Chromis. OB Chromis? Yep. That's yeah, what that's I bought them, man. Yeah, I lost the females, though, but I got them from Mike. That's a male? That's a male. Oh, yeah, he gonna be Right here. That's the um, what is that? The red, blue regal. Blue regal. Yeah, yeah. blue regal peacock. He looking good too. Yeah, no breed out of them yet either. But I get a lot of fry to these rusties though. Yeah, the rusties is prolific real breeders. And that's that uh female, Lake Tanganegan. I mean not Lake Tanganegan, but Lake Victorian yeah. that I want to breed your Scarlet with. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, I got a lot of fry right now, so. Yeah. I definitely got some males that's getting big. You know what I'm saying? I'll right. let you get them. You can get the males for sure. And you gotta show you guys the Exodons. The Exodons swimming like a pack of piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get my homework back up, so I've been buying some more homework. Trying to get my homework. I miss having a lot of green in my tanks. Like, you look at the fish room, it's cool, but I like to see green in every tank. Yeah, the green definitely It up. just looks better. So, I've been trying to get my plants in. These plants are so expensive. Man. Trying to plant a tank, especially hey, having this many man, tanks. We need Mark. Excellent. Mark's excellence to, <laughs> man. Donate. Donate. Reach out. Man, well, we need them plants, man, because just to get a nice planted tank, run you a couple hundred. Definitely. Definitely. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Definitely run you a few hundred. What's going on with these 20s, man? What, what, what do we have down here? Nothing there. Nothing. It's a pleco, actually. There it's is a... Time to get it's a fish in. So, I'm going to be putting... Oh, look, there's a little baby in there. Yeah, I probably didn't catch him when I had moved the guppies out of here. But right now, it's just water standing. Little pleco in here. That's and, a nice uh, female, too. Yeah, it is. But I'm gonna do my put my Kerbenzies back in here and breathe them in there. The rainbows? Yeah, the rainbow Kerbenzies. So I'm gonna move them. And then down here, you guys seen this in the last video, but we had picked up the where they at? They back there high. Behind the sponge filter. Yeah. We got the red empress. Oh, they're the male right here. So got them guys in here for right now. This is temporary. You Just ready to color up. Yeah. Once I put him into like a, a 40 breeder, he's gonna be straight. Yeah, he ready to color up. Blue head. Is he? Looking good. <laughs> yeah, some nice size females too. So they yeah, are nice size females. So we gotta trill them, let them quarantine here for a few weeks, get them eating for sure. Once they start eating, move them to a breeding tank. Be nice to get a bunch of those babies. A lot of people know what these guys are, but they don't like to buy them because they don't show a lot of color right away yeah sometimes it takes them a longer time to color up too. yeah so you gotta be patient man trust the process man. yeah so over time i'll probably go get some more females probably get three more females and then uh just keep this one male we should be straight over there should be straight all my africans up in here you guys seen when I moved a bunch of them outside to the 120 gallon pond, but we still got a bunch in here. Tons of zebra bleak wings, some OBs, some uh, yellow labs. We got this busted what's up. What's this right here? Which one? What's this? <clears throat> so, I want to say that's a cross between the Electra Blue Johanny and something else. Because um, that's a hybrid for sure. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid for sure. But I know. The male is Electro Blue Johanny. So I got yeah, a few. Yeah, he is. So I got a few of them. What's this and matter of fact, look, look at the look at this one. So you remember that Travazi I used to have? Yeah. That's the mom. So you see how this one is looking like more like the Travazi. Oh, uh, okay. And Electro Blue Johanny. So they crossed. 
definitely crossed. Yeah, they crossed on me. When I used to have them in that tank together. What's that right there? This one. That's probably, it looked like it could be an orange top. Orange top? Yeah, and that's another one right here. Or, okay, okay. yeah, orange top. And there's probably like some rusties in here too. And then like some little rusties. Oh yeah, I did put, when I moved all them to the 40 breeder, I threw like three little small ones up in here. Just so I can see if they can grow a little faster. What's that one back there? That's another Lake Victorian That's female. Lake. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I got two females, no males. Right, I got so, the males. Yeah, so we just got to breed them. I got some males that's almost that size, so I'll probably catch, at least catch one of them out of there and uh, bring it over here so you can yeah. them in there with that We got the busted up Rusty. That's the female <laughs> to all the uh, other Rusties, but she be getting beat up in the breeding take, so right. I got to let her heal in here. Yeah, she only wanted to breed first. Man, let's go. Let's oh, go. yeah. I don't even see him. He Behind probably that rock. rock. Yeah. This tank with our puffer, man. I just told him he can come get him. Move I the, can't do nothing with move him. Move the rock real quick. So let's see if he'll come out. I can't do nothing with him, man. He back there. I just seen him. He moving. He, he to your left. Him. Yeah, he to your yeah. left. He had a little oxalated puffer. He moving with the rock. He right. Yeah, he cool. Just I just think that I need to put him in like a ten gallon. Right. That way I can use this tank for some breeding or grow some fry out. Uh, Cause he don't do much. Yeah, they need a lot of food, man. You got to power feed them, man. Yeah. The puffers, they they need a lot of like clams and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And he gets all that the 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 shrimps and clams. Yeah, he need them crustaceans. Mm hmm. So I think I might move him to like a 10 gallon and put him in a nice little planted 10 gallon, let him do it through. Because I mean, they get pretty big, six, seven inches, but he's not swimming and moving around like right. that where he need a big aquarium. Right. But he's a cool little puffer, though. Just can't put him with nothing. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat him for sure. You know? Is, uh, mean and nasty. Man, mean and nasty. Now, here y'all seen these guys also in the last video. These are my new breeding pair of black angelfish. You see that male got a nuka hump out this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to buy. I said the nuka hump on this dude. Yeah, he good. So, hopefully, they can start breeding. Got the slate in there. And eventually, I just put this little piece of horn. Eventually, probably another month, this thing will be full of horn work. Um, so they have a lot of cover, but yeah, that nuka hump on dude is crazy. I haven't really seen, even seen him. On that background. Yeah, and he got the uh, red see eyes. His eyes up. Yeah, yeah. She fat too. Yeah, you know Phil ain't. I already know Phil don't play around. Man. Phil got the cream of the crop. Yeah, so they looking good. So I pray they start breeding. That'd be dope. If not, you're going to have to move them up into a higher yeah, show tank. Man. Yeah, show tank or something like Might that. Have to move them over to that planet joint. They will look good in there. They're going to look good. You know they're going <laughs> to breed for sure. The more coverage, the better breed you're going to get out of them. And then you was just saying this tank look good, huh? This tank look great. <laughs> <laughs> it look yeah. Good. It's it just off. Yeah, it's, it's doing what it needs to do. It just took off for just sure. a mix of like Tetras. We got my little sword tails that I've been what's breeding. This, what's that one right there? The little... Oh, uh, the Julie... A uh, Julie... Uh, what is it? The Lake Tanganyika? Lake Tanganyika. Oh, it's yeah. a sickly. Yeah, it's a sickly, yeah. Yeah, I see. I'm trying how, to... How many in there? Just one. I used to have a whole colony of them. And then this dude... He must have jumped out of that tank into another tank because I seen him months and months later living... With other fish. Yeah, he was living with all these guys, so that's why I kept him with him. Oh, yeah, well, You know? Yeah, he's doing good in that. So, yeah, it's just a bunch of fish. All my little Kerbenzies that I raised from pups. Starting to get some size and color on them. Looking good. Definitely looking good, right? The color on I seen one in here that was super purple, though. Probably going to be the male. It's a nice color. Be back there. Right there. It's one color that's right there, too, going towards the back. Oh, yep. Sure is. I think the female's one with the more purple bellies, though, but I could be wrong. Look at all the swords on these tails, though. Yeah, I need to take them outside. They colorful, too. Yeah. They the same? Are they the same? Or they yeah, but they the same, but the way with these. Look, he got a green tail. And, and then some got, got an orange, orange tail. tail. 
But see, what I've been noticing about these guys, they don't really breed true. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they don't breed true because I've had this same colony. I started with these guys probably like last year. And I've seen them spit out orange babies before. Or they'll spit out all gray babies with no spots. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So they don't really breed true. So what? So these orange ones, are these the same as the ones with the all black on them? Or are they different species? The sorts of. I think they the same. Or I think they all, they all some crosses. They all not true. They all cross. Yeah, they all, they all crosses. But they look good though. They look real good. It's tank hard to focus on. They definitely looking good. I see all the little. I see your favorite plants. Crips. Doing good. Crips galore. Can't go wrong with What's some. What's this? Is these Crips or is these? No, that's Amazon a that's an Amazon sore, yeah. But that that other What's one in front one? of that's a Crip, yeah. That's a Crip. And then you got the boost on the plants. What's this corkscrew? Yeah, it ain't doing too hot because I think it's in the shaded area. Probably need to move it out of that shaded area. When I first planted this tank, everything died. And this is all new yeah, growth. This that stuff that all melted yeah, yeah so this yeah. is all new growth and stuff so that's good but that's you know they got the dirt in here then i put root tabs in here too right, so right. you know it's doing fairly well and i do i don't do crazy water changes i barely do water changes on it all right once every week or two yeah that's what you got the plants for yeah so that's i mean it stays it stays you know what you got up here, little, little potos yeah my little potos what's this the gold baby yeah i think potos? so yeah i'm not 100 percent sure yeah, and it's growing. It's, it's doing good up in there. Yeah, so right now, we got the bass down here. So you guys remember, oh, we got to talk about that. The bass is not doing good. Nah. The bass is eating, but the bass got eggs. Yeah, the bass got eggs. So I remember I got this Fogo bass that was sent to me. And I would just move them down here right before we put the camera on. We we're going to start treating them in this 40 breeder down here. But you guys remember, he was up in this tank with the... Uh, Jardini, let me step on this side. It won't be so much of a glare. Let me get my white shirt out. There. Yeah. <laughs> but we got the Jardini up in here. Man, all the other fish look good, though. Yeah. He looks amazing. Yeah, all the other fish look good. And then we got Shorty Mac. <laughs> Shorty Mac. Yeah, Shorty Mac. Back there getting water by the day. By the day. Why? <laughs> Why body? And then we got the Silver Arowana, so... I'm gonna have to. Black. I'm gonna have to help them. But to have this man uh, help me move my uh, 120 though. I got you. Yeah. Got you. So I can. I gotta move this big tank. That's a black arowana or a silver arowana. Black. Black arowana. Yeah. Let me let me uh, get them to come back out to the way. I ain't never had no black arowana, man. See, they got that orange on their fins. Yeah. With the black. I mean, I, I would say around here that the black arowana is probably the rarest. Yeah, in this I area. I don't see black arowanas nowhere. I don't even see a lot of people with black arowanas. I don't know why, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty rare for, for me. Definitely is. That's, My camera keep dying on me. What was you saying now? The video is at... Let me look on my phone. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let, let, us, let, let, me, uh, let me look this up, man, because the man said... He said once the video get to seven, what you said? Oh, you said a thousand. I said likes. a thousand likes, we'll get a gar. The video is at it's over seven, but in the comments you said seven hundred. It was a typo. There ain't no such thing as typos. <laughs> it is a Not typo. Not when you posting it. Let's go to the video and see where it was it's a at. typo, and I didn't go back and change it. I just let it ride. Let's go to the video, man. See where it's at, man. This tank is we'll super working. dirty now after we was trying to look for that fish in there. Which video was it? It ain't loading up. I'm trying to see. You know, I ain't got no connection. Not anymore. here in this basement. Ain't no, ain't no internet. No internet. Man. It ain't working. Turn your Wi-Fi off. Well, you ain't connected to my Wi-Fi anyway. Uh. Look at that Jardini though. What? We're about to do it without it, man. Let's go, man. But anyway. Anyway, my phone acting weird and all that. You know how phones is. But listen, you said get it to a thousand likes. Yeah. And the, the the comments you said seven hundred video is at seven hundred plus. You gotta get alligator guard, man. That's the next fish. Alligator guard. That's the next fish from the fish room for the thousand gallon. 
Alligator Gar. I got to show you. I mean, you can put them anywhere. You can get them small, but. Yeah, I need to get them small. You got to get, but you got to get one. I got to get one. You got to get the Gar, man. And we can't find a buy shirt. Cannot find the buy shirt. That's why the tank all murky because we was in here moving the rocks and stuff shit around. I'm trying to find, I got a Bashar in here. And then he don't believe I got one. I told I him he I, in I here. I don't believe it. I haven't seen him. He in here. I need to see him. And if I can do see him, I'm going to give him to him so he can get him fat because I've had him forever and he's probably like two inches. Right. I just I just don't do well with Bashars. That's all it is. They either jump out my tank, don't want to eat, or I never see him. I'm power feed. Yeah. I just, Bashars don't do well with me. So if I catch him and find him, I'm power feeding. He definitely coming to you. That's for sure. Yeah, I need him. What, what's what's going on down here, man? Breathing. I mean, show the people what's going on in the corner, man. Cause man, I got this red devil in his blood pair down here breathing this thirty gallon, thirty long. Breathing. They ready to go. Yeah, it's hard to see him right now, though. Yeah, it is. It's hard to see him right now. But we got this other fifty-five right here. Don't be setting up and. uh I left the calcium on her because somebody asked to make a video on how to, how to clean, clean tanks and stuff like I that. Got, I got this stuff at home. I'm going to give you so you can do that video because it, it'll it clean all that calcium off and it'll get like all the little lines and stuff, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying, from the, like the water lines and stuff off the glass. So. Yeah, so that's going to be a video showing you guys how to get all that off of there, make this thing back pristine, and I don't know what I'm going to do. With. Whatever is going to be in here is going to be planted, though. Right. Planted and green. I, just, I need greenery, man. I mean, the green looked the best, man. I need greenery in my tank. Even the fake, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. even the fake plants, that, that brought this out. You know what I'm saying? It definitely do. I don't think I showed this tank. Where the starry night at? Starry night hiding. I'm hiding. Like always. Hey, let's throw some food in there and see if they come out. Open it up for me, G. Yeah, I was in here. I've been catching fish out here, moving fish. So everybody's scared. I didn't stir the tank up. So everybody a little nervous right now. Let's get them eating. Yeah. But that's why I don't you like this you, white sand. The light on up because look at everybody that. washed out. Right. But right. I think it's the white sand too, though. You think? Yeah, because everybody, be look, like, they just be looking washed out in here, man. Yeah, because that's a jewel sick He's supposed to be bloody. He's supposed to be bloody red. Yeah. Now, what is that? Them, uh... Pick this cats. No, these fish here. What are oh, rainbow cichlids. They uh, supposed rainbow. to be orange. Be yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tripping. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna move them out of there, and I'm gonna put them down there in that 20 long that I just set up, and we're gonna try to breed the rainbows. And then you don't think they can go in there with the jardini in them? They probably could, but they mean and nasty. They mean, yeah. I don't. I just don't want nothing snipping, nipping right, at them dudes. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I want to put them in their own tank. I've had them for, shoot, since I started to fish from down here. Right. And I always wanted to breed them, but I never did. But you see, everything in there just washed out. Yeah, they is washed out. You know? Everybody in here washed out. So, I am think I'm going to redo this tank, man. Put some different substrate in there. Because it's just... What you want to do? You want to do black substrate? Something. I got some... Uh... I still got that sandblasting sand. I got a, I got a whole bucket full of sandblasting sand, the black sand. Yeah, I need to do good on that because they all, you know, they all color for fish. Yeah, they need Even some. Even the, uh, the fire mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They kind of washed out too. They washed out. Yep, I moved the big fire mouth out of here because he was beat up. Yeah, I see. I moved him out of here. Just been moving fish out of here, man. And then I think I just want to do something different with this tank. Or just have it open for a new opportunity. Right, right. right. You know what, what I'm saying? What kind of cats is in? Uh, four line or four line or pick this cats. Uh, pick this cat? Yeah. They get big or they stay about that size? They stay fairly small. They fast too. What? Maneuvering. I thought about taking one, put one in each, like each one of my like South American tanks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'll look good. Yeah, that's what I thought about doing. So I've had them for a long time. They for definitely a... swimmers. I had them for a long time. All right, let me show you guys what's going on over here. So this is uh, when I was talking about colony breeding, though. Over here, we got the yellow tops. Look at that male. Woo! <laughs> what, you over feeding fish? Gotta feed them, man. <laughs> Gotta feed them. Yeah, so let, let the people see you feed some fish, man. You can feed the Africans. Yeah, that's what I do, man. 
We feed fish. I feed the fish. <laughs> That's what I do. I think they've been waiting for me to come back, man. Yeah, it's been six months since you fed the fish. I mean, you know, I got a fish room too, man. <laughs> It's been six months since you fed the fish. What you feeding the flag to? He eating the pellets or he eating I got the wafers? Uh, wafers, yeah. I feed him wafers, yeah. Just to make sure he getting that algae that he need. But he keeps the tank clean. Ain't no algae. No, ain't no algae. That's you would think saying. it's a pleco in that tank. And these lights be on because I try to leave these lights on for the pothos a little bit. Sure, he's a little aggressive right there. Oh, yeah. She, she ready to breed. I still don't see dude though. Where the where the big male at? I bet he down up under here somewhere. Right in between this oh, little yeah. right there. I see his man. Yeah. I need him to come out. Yeah, feed the Oscar. Feed them, uh... Get the little, I had his belly fat last night. It's fat right now. <laughs> yeah, it was fat what, from last night. Is that a short body or? He got to be short. I was, think, I was literally thinking that last night I was looking at him. Short look body, how small long his, fin or what? I look, mean, how, look how small his stomach is. Right. But he fat though. Or she, he or she. Right. The Geo's fat too though. Yeah, they all ate super good last night. I probably fed them probably like three or four o'clock this morning, so. What you feed the exodons? You feed them pellets? Everything, yeah. Pellets. They'll take off some pellets right now. Let's get them eat, man. Yeah, they eat pellets, whatever. It don't matter. As long as it's some fish food, you got to step away though once you get as it long in. As long as it ain't my finger. Right. Aggressive. Yeah. We take it out on pellets, man. It's gone. Gone. Hey, hey, you gotta start a GoFundMe page for uh, fish food over I here. I swear man. to God, that's why I try not to feed so so much because I I'll be buying fish food once a week, and literally probably everyone got one too. Right, right. But yeah, I come through pellets, flake, flake you yeah. know what I'm saying, just so they can Let's give them a little variety. Yeah, got to keep the lid on though. They are Definitely jumpers. Like, if I ain't had a lid on this tank, they'd have been all gone by now. For sure. Definitely jumpers. What's this on that? What's that on the wood? That little some, plant there? Some boost. Boost? Oh, yeah. yeah that's just like that on that rock boost. Boosting. Boosting it looking good. That's why it's my new favorite plant. Wait till you see what I got over in this planter tank. The boost is it's double. But y'all yeah, was talking about these guys right before you started feeding the fish. These are the uh, yellow tops. They want, they want some, they want a little flake, that flake. Yeah, yeah, it should be some flake. They go crazy on it too. Let's give, let's give them a little flake food there, man. Let's see what they do. Just throw it back there by the filter. Oh, there, yeah, I'll just throw it back there by the filter, let it just fall down. I don't know how much to give them. Let's give them a little something. Oh, they gonna eat it. They Africans, at the end of the day. Bring them out. <laughs> Definitely do. Definitely didn't know it was that many fishermen <laughs> at all. Whole oh, different generations too. Yep. Well, yep. you see dad right here, colored up. Which one, the mom? Uh, the bigger, you know, basic looking ones. Oh, okay. So like these two, well, I can't really do it because I'm, I'm filming it. But yeah, they I back, see. I see them. Yeah, yeah. One looks yeah. like she's actually holding this one right here. Like she holding again. It's very possible. Yeah, I got some smaller males that starting to color up too in there. What what kind of fish is these? The yellow top mabambas. Yellow top mabambas. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she holding right here. Oh yeah, that's her little spot. Yeah, this tank is just glass, it's just crazy. I, I just scraped this glass. It's just them salt water lights, man. Yeah, them saltwater lights do work. Yeah, so this tank be like. You, you gotta put some plants in there. Yeah, put something the hornwork. Horn let, let, <coughs> let it do what it do. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of fish in there. I didn't know it was that many fish. I yeah. thought it was only maybe like ten fish, but it's at least thirty. At least, and I'm at thinking, least. and I'm thinking, there's smaller fry down in the rocks. Here, yeah, right. that's why I escaped it like that, so where they can dip and eat the tritish and whatever until they get strong enough to come out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't mess around. 
right here is the cream of the crop. My new favorite thing, G. Look who out. Who? Behind this thing right here. All the little yellow cabenses. Yeah. But you can see, showing the face. You can see how the boost growing on this on this rock. That, that's definitely new, bro. It wasn't looking Man, like that. It's dense, too. I like that. Yeah, it's dense. Even this one. This one's about dead, and it's starting to grow some new leaves and spread. Mm -hmm. What's the tall plants right there? Uh, some type of rotalia. Rotalia? Yeah, some stem plant. I, stem plants are like hit and miss. I think you need a lot of fertilizers and things for the stems. Look at him still feeding fish. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta feed them, man. Yeah. Gotta make sure they're getting all the nutrients. Definitely. I didn't know it was that many, or I would have, you know, I would put a little more in there, but. Look, 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 little shrimp right here on our wood. A little red shrimp. Mm-hmm. My little batter back there. Red everything. So what you doing? All red in that tank. Everything nah. red. Well, I guess it's it looking like it's gonna be like that, huh? Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yeah, because if I get the rummy noses, they red in the face. Right, that's the plans you got for this tank. Or rummy noses rummy and neons. neons. Neons, yeah. Rummy noses. Rummy noses and neons, man. What's down here, man? Oh, uh, where are you at? Here. Throw some food in there, it'll pop out. That's the, uh, my green terror. I just moved him in here. I like this tank, though. I just love the bowls, period. Let's feed him then. Yeah, he see back there. I can out. see him right there through the rock. So we can get him to come out, man. Might throw some pellets in there, though. I know we don't care about it. Average. Yeah, maybe that ends. There you go. Starting to peak. There you go. Look at him. Looking good. Definitely. got a nice size on him. Yeah. How big them get? They get big. They get big. I would say at least a foot. A foot? Yeah. Oh, I've been asleep. <laughs> I've been asleep. At I least at least ten at least ten inches to a foot. But they take them a long ass time. Long though. time. Yeah, they take them a long ass time to grow. Yeah, I gotta give me a green tear, man. That's a female because they ain't got no nuka hump. That's a female? Yeah, the males get nuka humps. Oh yeah, I'm asleep. <laughs> I've been sleeping for sure. Yeah. They gotta give me one of the pair. Well, you know the the they people. Mean, though? Yeah, this one is. But you know, you know, people. You know, they got the green tears with the orange tail. Remember, I used to have one. Right, these are right. these are the white. Is it true? That's what they should say. It's true, but there's people got mixed opinions on it. Like, oh, that's not a true green tear. But I've been told these are true green tears. But there's right. another name for them. I just can't think of it right now. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comment section. Um, but. You know, you got the green tail, they got the orange tail. Right, on that's it. what I always thought the green tail was. Yeah, the the that's what they tail. sold for. I think people just selling more in the store as a green tail like that. Right. They more of a popular fish because they look better. But so, these, so the one with the orange tail is like a hybrid. But I've also heard that, that they could be males and females too. Okay, so, uh, so somebody line breeding them for the females that had a white and the males that had I have orange. no clue, but I've been told by multiple people that this is a true green tail. I'm gonna have to do a with little the white research, tails, man. yeah. Then over there in this 36 for right now, I got my Texas sickle. I don't even see him either. Oh, he behind the rocks Texas back here. Yeah, it's a nice Texas male in there. He right there behind. Let's get him to come out there. I just put that uh them get, bio balls in there because my hands dirty. He, he right. Hopefully I don't get bit. He right behind that rock. Texas, baby. Oh, he looking good. Yeah, he is. I like them spots, man. Yeah. He looking great. He went back into hiding. Back so, yeah. into hiding? Yeah, I just got them in there for temporary right now. What, is, is it one in there or two? Just one. I have to the, put the other one outside the pond. <laughs> Come on, man. You just can't stay away from the outdoor <laughs> pond, man. I put the other one outside the pond, man. They feed the babies down here. Oh, yeah, they yeah. They eat flake too, ain't they? For sure. Whatever That's what do. they get. Flake, they get flake three, four times a day. Anytime I'm down here, I'm just throwing flake in here. Let's give them something to eat. I need to get some more Mike's Chow. I got some. Let's 
I got some, uh, I do got some little baby, baby Mike's child food, but I need some bigger pellets though. I got some, I got some of the bigger pellets. You what you got the fried pellets? Yeah. I got the big, I got the size after that. Yeah, mine's are like Mike's. And then I got the other size too, the size after that one. Yeah, mine look like dust. But yeah, man, let's uh go show them the pond. We're gonna get up out of here, man. Let's we'll see the pond. We've been man. on this camera for about an hour. At least. We got the net on it though. I'm scared of that bad. You say you feeding them? Look at the That's cat good. back here. Bassy bass bass. Nah, he ain't eat. He eat high carbs, but he ain't eating these types. He he act like he want to eat it though. Yeah, he, act, he, he he really want to eat a fish. Yeah, he do. Boy, really want a fish. Definitely do. Look at that pinky though. Where he at? Right there. He got throw more than that. I throw big handful. Oh yeah, I'm just. <laughs> you playing with time. him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I be. Ugh. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I be throwing handfuls. A of at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way they can all get some. Cause Pinky alone eating a handful. Right. I need to put the net back down. Man, let's ask the people. Cause you know I got I got I got a giant a gold giant grounded too, man. Yeah. Mean and nasty. Cannot put them with any fish that get big. I can't put them with none of my fish that have got big, man. So, do the people think I should bring my gold <laughs> giant grommy over, over here, here and put them in the thousand gallon, man? Y'all let us know in the comment section. Look at the other one back there, the uh, black red tail giant grommy. Should I bring it over here or not? I mean, it's up to you. I, I would say keep them in a tank by itself until you just... I got you, him in you a 55 have. right now. <laughs> I mean, he's doing good in the 55, but I just, I don't know. I don't know how much longer he can last in that 55. You know what I'm saying? He's almost a foot long, so... Yeah, that's true. It ain't giving him a lot of space to turn around in, man. But any fish I got that get too big, they're coming here. <laughs> Ooh, look at the clown. Look at the clown. Are you there, you fellas? Hi, Kari. No, they'll eat that. When they hungry enough, they eat that. But I really got that for, like, all the Oscars and right. the other fish. And then, you know, the all other... The yeah, and the other guys. Look at this dude. Just ready. You ready to go. Finger. Yeah, he's just ready. But all right, y'all. This has been a long video. It's probably it's been an hour. Oh man, where did he go? We gotta get the cat out. I showed the cat. Oh, you want him out? He gotta come swimming. All right, hold on. Let me go back here. Get the cat out, man. I was finna end the video. Don't end the video without showing the cat. cat. Watch out for the bass. Watch out for the bass. Woo! He's right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> he just hide back there. Yeah, until the lights off. Yeah. Yeah, he out swimming. He out swimming. But sometimes if he hungry enough, he be out here. Right. I ain't gonna bother him. But y'all see him though. Move this now out the way. Y'all see that cat in there. I ain't seen the crab pool either. Crab pool right back here. Uh, they just all hide. This is the dark. You know, the light don't really reach this corner too well. So this is like the darkest area back here. Yeah, so you turn it on. Yeah.
energy. I just don't ever have it on. That one little light be cool enough for them. A little night light, you know what I'm saying? Right. What's that? Oh, that's. Oh, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. What? Right there in the Probably some Cynodonis. Oh, I got two Cynodonis catfish in here, too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they be hiding up under the rocks and stuff. No plecos. Plecos outside. The ple plecos outside in the pond. The big ones? They're outside. Took them out of there. <laughs> they supposed to be in here? I mean, I don't know. I didn't know you. I didn't even know you took them out there, man. I gotta go outside and see the pond. <laughs> we got plecos out there, Jack Dempsey, Texas. Much without me knowing, <laughs> too much. I gotta go see the outdoor pond. Can't see the fish right now. I need the water chain, but my water thing is messed up. The um. The city outside working on the water because the water main busted, so I can't do no water changes right the now. Bass, the bass about 15 inches. You think so? Where's the tape measure at? No, I give them about 12. I give them a foot and a half. Dude, bigger than 12 inches. Probably about a, he probably about a one pounder. I give him a one pounder. One pound? He a pound, G. No. He a pound. Let me hold the camera and you get him out there. Put your finger in his mouth and get him out. He's bigger than a pound, man. You think so? Man, that's a big, that's a big bass, bro. He's bigger than a pound. Two I'm pounds. Say about two or three pounds at least. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like three pounds. A three pound bass? Yeah, for sure. That bass dude got is a, probably about a pound. True, and that's a large mouth, and they more right. fatter anyway. These guys are kind of more on the skinnier side. I mean, he still got a slender. Whole... Yeah, but he gonna get thirty inches. He gonna get thirty inches. Thirty. You got big thirty. That's bigger than the red tail right now, man. Thirty. It is. Come on, man. He gonna get thirty. Both of the grommies gonna get thirty. The clown knife probably still got about six, seven inches to put on. Man. But all right, y'all, we out of here, man. Tell the people your channel, bro. Mr. Feed the Fish, man. Check me out on YouTube. Mr. Feed the Fish. Check my boy out, man. I'll link it down below in the description of my video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I want to get back to doing longer, just raw, uncut videos. Yeah, man, we got to just kick it, man. Yeah. Show the people us. You know, we ain't got to put on for the camera, man. We ain't got to put nah, on Nah, we don't do that. We nah, ain't none of that. It, ain't none of that. Ooh, look at the back. I, I gotta go, bro. <laughs> I gotta go. But all right, y'all. I'll catch y'all the next one. I'm out of here.